Hey, in today's video I thought I'd talk about backface culling. It's not a particularly exciting subject, but it's good to know what it is and how to use it to your advantage. If you already know what backface culling is and just want a quick how-to video for Blender, you can check that out in the card above, but if you want something more detailed, stick around. As I mentioned in a previous video, geometric shapes in 3D software are built up of vertices, edges and polygons, and today we're focusing on polygons. A polygon has two faces, one on the front and one on the back. The front facing polygon is the surface of your model, also known as a surface normal. This is basically the outside of your model, the side that shows your textures and materials. The back facing polygon, or a back face, can often appear black, but it's actually transparent as that's part of the back face culling process. Back face culling is a method in computer graphics programming which determines whether a polygon of a graphical object is visible. If it's not visible, the polygon is culled from the rendering process. Culled meaning reduce the number of polygons that the hardware has to draw. So in very basic terms, that means if we can't see it, it won't render it, which is great for optimization and efficiency. One of the reasons I brought up backface culling is that it's a fundamental concept in 3D modeling. I also plan on using backface culling in a future tutorial, so I thought now was a good time to go over it. However, my main reason for wanting to talk about backface culling is mostly related to Blender. So as an example, I have this loot box here, and as you can see, it looks perfectly fine in Blender. But what you can't see is that the little stands here have inverted normals. All I mean when I say inverted normals is that the front facing and the back facing polygons have switched around. So instead of our texture being on the outside, it's now on the inside. That's also the case for the back face. It's now on the outside and it should appear either completely black or transparent, but it's not, so what's going on? Well Blender, for whatever reason, has backface culling disabled by default. So instead of the backface appearing black or transparent, it actually shares the same UV space as the surface normals and acts as a two-sided material. Remember that surface normals are just the surface of your model. Now because they're sharing the same UV space, it makes it very difficult to tell them apart. And because of that, people can end up creating their models or parts of their models inside out. It's an easy mistake to make, especially as a beginner. So I'm here in Blender to show you a few ways to prevent this from happening, and if it already has happened to you, I'll show you how to fix it. So now that we're in Blender, we'll start off in the default engine Eevee. As you can see, our model looks perfectly fine. However, as I mentioned, this model has inverted faces, but we just can't see them yet. So I'll show you two ways in which we can view our back faces. So we'll go to this little button here, select the arrow to bring up this menu, and select face orientation. And as you can see, the surface normals appear blue and the back face appear red. This is a quick way to check that your geometry is facing in the right direction. So let's turn this off for now and I'll show you how to view it as transparent. Go to the right and select this arrow and check back face culling. And now our back face is transparent. This is basically how any other 3D modeling software or game engine renders our model. If we wanted to render our model out like this, it wouldn't work as this is only changing the settings in our viewport. So let's head over to the display render preview, so that in the next step we can view our backface culling. So to be able to view our backfaces in the render view, we have to go to the material tab down here. Scroll down to settings and enable backface culling. And as you can see, it's showing us our inverted mesh in our render viewport. Now let's change our render engine to cycles. We can use the same two methods as before to view our normals. But in order to be able to see our inverted normals in our render view, we need to create a shader. So let's head over to the shading tab. Select our material window and hit shift A to bring up the add menu and type in mix shader, transparent BSDF, and geometry. So I'll zoom in a little using the mouse scroll and begin to connect them together. So we'll connect the back facing from the geometry node to the vac value on the shader. Then connect the transparent BSDF to the mix shader. Be sure to connect it to the lower shader socket. Now connect our principal BSDF to the mix shader's upper shader socket. And finally, let's connect our mix shader output socket to the material output surface socket. Now, because we're in the display render preview, we can see that our normals are either black or transparent. The reason one is black and the other is transparent is that the black elements of our model are entirely flipped, meaning the entire part of that geometry is inverted. 
whereas the transparent polygon is actually part of a larger singular mesh, so it seems that individual faces become transparent. So, now that we know what pieces of our geometry are inverted, we can fix them. And thankfully it's rather easy to do. So let's jump back into the layout tab. I'll go back into display solid mode, disable the back face culling mode, and enable face orientation and select one of the inverted pieces of mesh. Go to the editing mode, hit the A key to select the entire mesh and go to Mesh, Normals, Flip. And that's it, our normals are fixed. If elements of your model are inverted, you can select them by hovering over it and hitting the L key and if you use the shortcut Alt N, you can bring up the same menu and select Flip. Also, if you have faces that are inverted, you can select them and flip them too. So now that we have some basic understanding of what backface culling is and surface normals are, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you two different ways of creating foliage, like grass, for different game engines. So if you found this video helpful and want to see more, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That's all from me, I'll see you around.